Hey guys, it's Rose from Yoga for All with Rose. Today I wanted to propose a seven day challenge for the ones who enjoy challenges. So the challenge is that during seven days, you dedicate 10 minutes of your day for a variation of legs up the wall pose and do one restorative pose for 10 minutes. So this is pretty hardcore, especially if you are a very go, go, go busy type of a person and stopping and dropping into one single pose without doing anything can be quite challenging, but it is very, very good for our parasympathetic nervous system. The one that really um, helps us to re rest, relax, digest, absorb and kind of find calmness in our lives. So I'm going to do this today with you. Um, there's a couple variations that you can do. Uh, one obviously is using the prop of a wall. The second one is to use a chair or a low stool. Um, I have a stool here that I have just covered with a blanket so that it has something soft on it. So version number one would be that I simply scooch myself close to that stool and find my calves on that stool. This can be my legs up the wall. Very good. Now the second variation is to use the wall. And here for any of these poses, if you have a very hard surface, 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 um, I recommend um, putting something soft on it. Not only soft, but also warm so that you feel supported. Um, I have a carpet and I have this kind, nice, soft um, mat there, but I'm still going to add a little bit of extra padding, a little bit of extra warmth warmth for myself and I'm going to place it right here. I'm also going to have another one for my head. You could use a little pillow, but any kind of a padding under your head might feel good. So I would start with my back a little bit away from the wall, laying on my side and then lifting my legs up. Here I am. Option. Scoot your pelvis away from the wall or a little bit closer to the wall. Bend your knees a little bit, maybe placing the toes to the wall as well or having them straight, whichever feels more comfortable. Finding something under my head. And then option for the hands. You could have them on the sides, which gives you a little bit of a chest opening or bringing the arms a little bit overhead gently not extending anything this is actually quite intense if you end up being six um 10 minutes in this pose so what we really look for is something that is rather sensation free so out of these options you choose the pose that you wish to do and let's do the 10 minutes together now so here i am i'm going to adjust myself a little bit and what I'm going to do is I have my clock here so I know what the time is. And I am going to actually do my ver the version on the chair. So I'm finding my way up here. Settling into stillness. Making sure that I feel well supported so that I can relax into this pose. The whole point of being here is that it is sensation free and you can stop and drop and sink into restoration. Here we are finding your way to this pose. And then as you stay there, I invite you to gently close your eyes, having your arms wherever feels comfortable. And however you choose to start your legs up the wall pose, you can choose to change it if you start feeling discomfort. As you lay there, feel 
the air floating in through your nostrils and gently floating out through your nostrils. And just feel that wave of breath floating in and floating out without doing anything, just observing and appreciating the life that takes place in you. Feel if there's any area of your body that is feeling discomfort. If you find such an area, send your next exhale to that place and see if there's any physical adjustments that you can do to get rid of that discomfort. One way is just letting go, just really feeling that discomfort and trying to melt that discomfort away. Sometimes that's not enough and you do need to make a little bit of an adjustment. And then sinking into this moment, closing your eyes. Have your face turned up and let your neck be long. Feel the back of the head sink into the floor. Feel the shoulders sink into the floor. Feel the pelvis sink into the floor. Feel your feet that have been elevated and the sensation that you have in your feet. Taking stock, sensing what is happening inside your body. If your mind starts racing, bring it back to your breath, how the breath feels as it flows through your nostrils to your lungs. And as your uh, lungs empty, how it flows out through your nostrils. Giving yourself, your body and your mind the chance to do nothing but rest. If your mind is very busy and thinking of your breathing is not quite helping you as much as you wished, come to the sensation of your ears and inside your ears. Another option is to come to the sensation of inside your mouth, feeling your tongue, feeling the inside soft tissues of your mouth, feeling your teeth, letting go, relaxing, sinking into the still. As we are approaching our halfway mark in this pose, take a moment to adjust anything, do any adjustments that can, that can make you 10% more comfortable. If you chose to be legs up the wall with your legs straight, you can always change your mind and extend those knees or vice versa. This is your practice. This is your restorative pose. Your body, your yoga. 
sinking into the stillness, going back to the breath, maybe doing a body scan where you start from your toes, come down the legs, to your pelvis, to your back, to your shoulders, upper arms, lower arms, hands, and the head, and aiming to let it go as much as you can, seeing if there's a little bit more that you can surrender to the floor. If a sensation starts creeping and arising, take note of that. It is very normal for a restor restorative pose to take place where you start sensation free, but then slowly with time releasing into the pose, you start feeling a little bit of a sensation as the tissues start softening and relaxing. If any discomfort arises, note how you can breathe space into any tightness. Note how you can melt more to the floor by just allowing yourself to let go of any tension any unnecessary holding that doesn't serve you in this restorative pose. I also invite you to deepen your inhale and deepen your exhale if you haven't done so already naturally. If your mind needs something to do, you might even count the inhalation and count your exhalation, keeping, keeping them even and soft. As we approach the final minutes of our 10 minute restorative Lex Up The Wall pose, See if there's any other micro adjustments, whether physical or mental, that would serve you in this moment. Maybe it is helpful for you to do another body scan. And sending breath, softness and surrendering vibes to any part that is still wanting to hold on to tightness. If you are counting your inhalations and exhalations, make sure you're not forcing your breath, you're merely observing it. And into your mind, just gently think about coming to the end of this practice without moving anything yet. Just mentally knowing that we have arrived to the 10 minute mark. 
float it around and you've just taken a 10 minute break to restore give your body and mind a break and then as you inhale we invite a little bit of movement to your toes and maybe to your hands maybe rolling the head to one side or another just like in the end of our restorative pose of Shavasana in the end of a class. When you feel ready, gently place your feet down on the floor and find your way to a fetal pose on one side. Take a deep breath in and out, not rushing the process of getting up. Observing what you might be feeling in your physical body, in your energetic body, in your mental body. And when you feel ready, allow your hands to push you up to a seated, comfortable place. Take a moment to honor this 10 minute practice. Maybe placing your hands on your heart any way you wish and giving yourself compassion and love thank you for doing this first 10 minute challenge with me i invite you to see if this is something that you could incorporate in your day and i invite you to give me any feedback on how it is for you like I said, this can be a very hard practice because it truly is doing nothing. And most of us just do a lot of stuff and never take that time to stop. So thank you. I, it's my honor to be able to do this with you. Thank you. I wish you a wonderful rest of your day.